As you can see here, we have two RTL 2832U receivers. The first one is going to be used in the role of a signal receiver. A signal receiver is used to track the control channel. And you see here, we specified the role as signal. We could have specified it as voice or as unspecified. Unspecified has a special use for tracking digital systems. Let's start this up. We have a park frequency in here of 860.7125, which is where the control channel was last time we listened to this system. And it looks like it's still there because it's updating site information over here. Notice we get a frequency plan and the source and target of each communication. We have audio output set to unspecified at the moment. Let's turn that on though, just so you could see this really is a control channel. So anyone who's ever listened to a control channel knows that's exactly what it sounds like. And let's take a look here on the scope. And we have a nice clean control channel signal. If we look down a little further on this screen, we'll see a health check of 100. That's always good when it's at 100, at least most of the time. That means all the data is being properly decoded. And it recognizes that we're listening to a Motorola system. We have a number of system types checked off here. But as long as the one we want is included in the checks, it's fine to have the others there too. Let's start up the voice receiver. Six seven nine eight two one one click car one three nine go you are two four seven six nine loud and clear. Good evening, early south car. Let's pause this here for a minute just so I could freeze the screen. So we're looking at the VCO tab for the voice receiver right now. See we're set to voice where on the other receiver it was set to signal. So each receiver has a completely independent role. We've checked off the emphasis because we're going to be listening to these signals and we do want the FM de-emphasis and our audio output is going to the Microsoft sound mapper so it'll get to the speakers. So the frequency that we were listening to a moment ago is 857.2125 and let's start this again because it looks like the source and target talk group info have gone away. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you in each transmission so you know what you're listening to, the frequency monitored, and the source and target talk groups will come up. Now, it's possible to label the source and target talk groups. As you see here, we have a field for source label, and we have a field for target label. You can either manually label these yourselves in the site plan, but it's going to be a little laborious, or if you have a subscription to Radio Reference, you can simply download that information, and it will make it much more useful. One of the problems I've seen with Unitrunker that I haven't solved yet, though, is there are times where I may just want to monitor a handful of talk groups. Well, it doesn't seem as if there's a straightforward way to do that, Rather than say which talk groups you want to monitor, you can specify in a list which talk groups you would like to exclude. So let's listen in again for another moment. Seven, three, two, four. Receive 
please land clear. Good evening. OR 66026. And I'm out at the planes. MDR check.